So this video is going to be a bit of a different one because I don't want to put insane amounts of effort into every video I make. I'd quite like to vary it slightly so that I can upload more often because I'm just so tired and busy at the moment, but making videos keeps me sane, so here goes. I just wanted to ask a genuine question here, and like, I'm not being facetious at all when I say that. I honest to god want to know if you're a fan of anyone I bring up in this video, and I also want to know why, because to me, it's the fucking worst content on this site. That being a certain type of commentary channel. And before I get started, I don't hate commentary channels in general. I like me a good commentary channel, but I'll just pull up an example of one that really confuses me. So here's August the Duck, one of many of these, in my opinion, just terrible, like boring, no integrity, just zero pride in their work, low effort, unfunny, predictable, repetitive, bottom of the barrel, but still wildly successful for whatever reason. Commentary channels. Now one thing you'll notice about these channels just by looking at them is that they're all the same fucking thing. They're basically spam channels. I mean this duck guy, like half his fucking channel is Jack's cooking show, Kay's cooking, Darman, and Nico Cardo Avocado, baby. <laughs> I'm not sure what entertainment people get from these videos because there's nothing interesting or funny about what they say ever. If you just pick a random video, it's just- well, first of all, like, half the video isn't really even theirs. You're just playing stupidly long clips of whoever you're talking about and then pausing it every now and then, telling a really shit, obvious joke as the camera zooms in, and then just rinse and repeat for eight minutes. I can't even play a clip of their content to illustrate what I'm talking about because it would be really weird and dumb and have no structure. I'd have to play at least two whole minutes to get my point across because they talk so dreadfully slow. Here's a similar channel called Pancho who's pretty much the same as the duck and, and I'll be honest this one actually has some pretty impressive variation here. We've got such classic videos like that vegan teacher destroys Mr. Beast. Gordon Ramsay destroys that vegan teacher. That vegan teacher went too Darman far. Darman destroys that vegan teacher. That vegan teacher that ate me. Teacher that, vegan teacher that, vegan that, that vegan teacher got banned. That vegan teacher got banned. That vegan teacher trolled. That vegan teacher got that vegan arrested. teacher has gone Gordon insane. Gordon Ramsay gets attacked by that, that vegan, vegan teacher. teacher. And get a load of this. Get a load of this fucking bullshit. That vegan teacher, the saga, which is 75 fucking minutes long. What type of sick bastard enjoys this utter shit? And by the way, the combined total of views this guy has taken from the videos I named alone is roughly 50 million out of his 150 million total views. And he has just under one and a half million fucking subscribers. Why? Look, I'll be honest, the two people I just mentioned, it confuses me, but obviously it's it's young, edgy teenagers and children who watch these videos. So I do understand it, and I'm sure they're lovely people, you know, just making a living via, in my opinion, garbage content. But content aside, I have no problem with them as people. However, that changes with the channels that I'm about to show you. You know, there's part of me that thinks for the previous two, good for you, they're probably young guys who have to go through the bullshit education system and have found a totally great great way to thrive in life financially, at least for the time being. So honestly, good for them. I wish I was shameless enough to do it as well. Now, I'm not backtracking here, the videos are dog shit, but whatever, right? With the next couple of channels, however, they're first of all not only even less effort and bottom of the barrel than the last two, but also super dodgy and very morally questionable. Okay, so this one, <laughs> this one here, Jaden, really pisses me off. Like, I hope they're aware. I hope they're aware of the incredibly privileged position that they're in, in terms of career career at least, because if I was them I would be far too ashamed to make a living off of videos like I feel awful for Technoblade, who if you don't know is a YouTuber who was diagnosed with cancer, and they've just got they've just got a video here titled I feel awful for Technoblade with cancer in big bold letters in the middle. You've got to be taking the piss, it's pathetic, like it's genuinely fucking pathetic. And then the video itself is exactly what you'd expect, it's just them going Technoblade, it's pretty, ah, oh, pretty bad what happened, you know, cancer is all, it's not my, not my favorite thing in the world it's quite you know it's not it's not great is it i hope uh technoblades i hope he survives and it's six minutes long somehow it's not an isolated case either it's like this is exclusively what these fucking channels do i mean in the same screenshot you've got i feel awful for tommy in it and the travis scott situation is awful was it really i never would have known i really needed you to make this fucking video to inform me of eight deaths being a bad thing oh and this this one here this one is fucking real 
rich. So this is about uh, Jaden animations and how whenever you look her up, you'd get like perverted photos of her avatar or whatever. And she said this about it. And the people who are making the videos really, they make me a little bit more upset because they're pretending to take the moral high ground on like, let this is horrible. Right. When they're the ones who are really like, profiting and benefiting and you're you can't pretend to be the good person in this scenario so Jaden decided it would be a good idea to make a video exclusively about this clip but they somehow don't see the ridiculous irony in doing so see this is also a common trend as well with these channels is like the pseudo moralistic stances on really contentious and dire like serious issues which they talk about like they're just petty YouTube dramas here's another one this one's Connor Pugs and he uploads two to three videos every fucking day. Three! I don't even need to say anything. I mean, just take a look. It's a fucking clickbait bullshit. But the real problem is these videos which unfortunately end up performing the best. Videos about Jacksepticeye's dead father, for example. And he's taken them down, but at some point he had like four videos all focused on what he called the Jacksepticeye situation. Like, first of all, that's already pretty scummy. It's not a fucking situation. This isn't a YouTube drama. Like, like a human life has just been lost. Calling it the Jacksepticeye Jacksepticeye situation is ridiculous, but these videos, they aren't made because he actually gives a shit, because trust me, no one who makes these videos cares in the slightest about the people they're talking about, because if they did, they wouldn't have made the video in the first place. It's so blatant that all they care about is exploiting their situation to the largest extent they can, so that they can make as much money and get as much publicity as possible. Even in this video that's still up, you can check the description, Jacksepticeye is a great YouTuber and a great guy. And on SLT, Jack Spe Jack Spe Jack Jack Spetikai deserves better. They're not even fucking trying. They're not even trying. Jack Spetikai or Sean is a massive gaming YouTuber who, <laughs> who has collabed with the likes of Markiplier and PewDiePie. Recently, there has been some nonsense going down in his comments that needs to be talked about. Anyways, have a good day, fellas. <laughs> <laughs> oh. So not only did he spell honestly and Jacksepticeye wrong, probably because he was rushing to get this video out as soon as possible because it was current at the time, but the rest of the description just throws in PewDiePie and Markiplier's names so that when people look them up, this fucking Connor Pugs video will appear. I mean, come on, you can't defend this shit. I think my favorite part of this video is when he instructs his audience to like, like, like the video for, for some epic good luck or whatever. By the way, leave a like in the video for, uh, for nothing. You know, uh, this video was a bit serious and dark, so what I'd like you to do is click on one of the four videos you see on screen right now. Trust me, they're a bit, they're much more uplifting. Right, more light-hearted videos such as she cheated on her boyfriend with his father. Warning, very disgusting. <laughs> I've just gone on his most popular. Fucking hell, oh my god, why are there so many? MatPat drama gets worse. Dan TDM, I feel awful, Mr. Beast scam. Update, update to the Jaden animation situation. What the fuck is wrong with this guy? I've just seen, look at this, you've got I feel awful for Dan TDM, and then three months later, I feel so bad for Dan TDM. And then Twitter is not happy with Dan TDM. Dude, I could talk about this all day. This is fucking aw like, this is just fucking awful. Mark applied deserves an apology. D By the way, this video doesn't have a script, just for the record, so that's why, if, if it's a bit all over the place, that's probably why. Alright, I think I'm pretty much done. I hope I didn't forget anything, but again, like I said before, I'm not being facetious. If you're a fan of any of these types of channels and know how to read and write, I'd love to know why, because I'm genuinely unbelievably curious. Alright, we're done here. I'll catch you later. But that